Hello and welcome to Sonic State. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Mutable Instruments Yarns. This is a MIDI to CV interface for your Eurorack modular synthesizer. It has some very nice features for working polyphonically with your modular and also multi timbrely So essentially we have these four different configurations of the CV and gate outputs. However, we have nine different layouts which interpret the incoming MIDI data and output it differently depending on which layout you're on to the CV and gate outputs. So as well as this, Yarns has a built-in digital oscillator, a 64-step SH-101 style sequencer, complete with 303 style slides. It has an arpeggiator, a Euclidean sequencer, portamento, vibrato and different tuning systems and just loads and loads and loads of features. So first of all let's just have a look at the front panel and we'll see what it looks like. So here is yarns. What we have on the front is our eight CV and gate outputs but depending on which layout you are on you get different uh, outputs. So you can have velocity output on some, modulation on others, MIDI start, MIDI clock, um, gates, triggers, built-in digital oscillator output, and all of the above. Then we have the MIDI in, MIDI out, and then we come to the sequencer function. So these are the uh, SH-101 style sequencer functions. So in order to start a sequence, all you need to do is hit record, and then we're on the first step of the sequence, then you just input a note from the MIDI keyboard, and once you've got to your desired length of the sequence, you hit record again and you press start to start the sequence. As you can see, it's playing back an eight note sequence. But if I wanted to then edit that sequence, you hit record again and it will continue playing the sequence and you can scroll through any of your steps and either with your keyboard or with the click wheel so you get to your desired step. So at the moment that's a C4, I don't want that, I can adjust that like so. You can, and then you hit the wheel again to insert that. You can also add a tie or a rest to each or any of the steps that you'd like. So you just hit the tie or the rest button. And then we come to the edit wheel. So this is how you navigate all of Yarn's parameters. So obviously turn to your desired parameter hit the wheel, and then you can adjust that parameter. So Yarns also has eight memory slots, which allow you to load and save up to eight different settings. And that includes all of Yarns settings, including sequences and arpeggiators and the tuning information received by the MIDI. So then we have this initialize function, which basically just um, turns off all the sequences and arpeggiators and puts you on the monophonic layout. Then we come to the quick setup. This is just enables you to quickly build up a setup or a layout based on input MIDI notes. So you click the encoder again, you get these two flashing crosses. And then if you play one note, you will get a monophonic voice and then you play two notes or more on the same MIDI channel and you will get a duophonic or quadraphonic voice. And then if you play two or more notes on different MIDI channels, you will get um, a multi timbral voice. So that's the two times mono and the four times mono mode. And then if you play adjacent notes on different channels, you will get a split created at this point on the keyboard. And then if you input all the notes on channel 10, you will get the four times triggers mode. And each trigger will be played on the specific MIDI note that you played on channel number 10. So that is the quick setup. And then we come to the uh, SysX dump. So this allows you to dump all your settings onto a SysX librarian utility, and then you can restore these settings later. Then we come to the calibrate, and this displays the calibration menu, which is needed to calibrate yarns. So let's have a look at the digital oscillator, and we'll get the sequencer running, and we'll see the features of those two. 
So to enable the built-in digital oscillator, I'm in the oops, I'm in the monophonic mode. So that means that my digital oscillator will be outputted on CV number four. So scroll to oscillator, like so. Click the wheel, and we have sawtooth, pulse, square, triangle sign and noise so then all i need to do is patch my oscillator into my vca and then my gate into my envelope envelope into vca and we should have very simple one part monophonic voice maybe we would like some velocity. So all we need to do, my velocity output is here. The intensity of the light dictates how hard the velocity is. So all I need to do is take the output of that VCA into another VCA and then patch my velocity into that final VCA, like so, into the second VCA. So now we should have velocity sensitivity. And the sequencer actually records velocity. So all I need to do to enable the sequencer is hit record. And then I'm on the first step of the sequence. So my first note, second note, etc., etc. So then we play that back, hit record again, and then press start. The sequencer also allows for slides. All you need to do, you just wiggle your pitch bend wheel and then input the note. And then hit record again, press start. Notice you can't hear the slide there. All you need to do is go to legato, turn that on, and then the portamento will dictate how much of a pitch slide there is. So let's just hear what the different waveforms sound like on the digital oscillator as well. So we've got our sequence going. So that is the digital oscillator. So you may have noticed I've got the mutable instruments edges in as well. So this is really going to help me to demonstrate how easy it is with yarns and edges just to get a really simple quadraphonic patch going. Edges actually has a built-in gate function which allows the voice to be turned on or off. So you don't need to use an external VCA um, in a simple uh, patch. So all we need to do for this quadraphonic patch is make sure that we're on the quadraphonic layout. So then all of these four CVs are note CVs and the gates are note on or off. And all we need to do is jack our CVs into our volt per octave inputs on the edges module. And then we jack our gates into the gate like so. And then we jack our output to our sound card. And we should, when I press my four notes on my MIDI keyboard, get quadraphonic. So I just want to expand this patch slightly. I'm just gonna add a filter and add uh, envelope control over the filter.
So all I've done to expand this patch slightly is taken my gate outputs here and molted them to my envelope and then I've mixed my envelope and then have that controlling the cutoff of my filter. That sounds something like this. So now that I've given you some polyphony, what I want to do is show you some multi-timbrality. So I'm on the four times mono mode for this next patch, and it's and I'm basically going to give you two drum voices and two arpeggiated synth voices. A kick drum on number three, and I have a hi-hat sort of white noise, filtered white noise sound on number four and I've engaged the Eusebian sequencer on three and four. So that's doing my drum rhythms. And then I have two synth voices on uh, one and two. So this is all very well and good, works really nicely. The only issue that I have with yarns in this sort of mode is that in order to change, say, the rhythm of my Eusolydian sequencer on my kick drum, I have to go to uh, my part. So I have to select part, go to number three, which is my kick drum, and then I have to go to my Eusolydian se set settings. So I've got something that I'm happy with, um, so I want to change my hi-hat rhythm. So I have to go to back to my part, select part four, and then change the settings of my Eusolydian settings like so. So when you're working in these multi timbre layouts, editing each individual part becomes quite a laborious process of using the edit wheel to flip between your part and then say your Eusolydian or your arpeggiator settings for that part. So what I thought would be really nice is if you could control, say, the arpeggiator settings or the uh, Eusolydian settings or any other setting on an uh, individual part via MIDI. However, this is not available in this uh, version of the firmware. But I did speak to Mutable Instruments about this, and they said that this may be coming in a future update of the firmware. So overall, I'd have to say I've been thoroughly impressed by yarns. At £249, I think you get a Swiss Army knife of MIDI to CV conversion. In a small or a starter system, I definitely think this would be a great addition as it allows you to patch in so many different ways. But also in a larger system with the element of polyphony about it, I think you could create some really beautiful polyphonic patches. And this seems to be a running theme with the mutable instrument stuff, is that you get a lot more going on underneath the hood than at first glance. And although at first it might be a bit daunting to change all the parameters or edit any patch via the edit wheel, once you get into it and you start using it, it actually becomes really intuitive. And once you've learnt the menus, it's actually really easy to use. So overall, very impressed. Continue making great products. That's all from me. Thank you very much.